Good morning guys, it's been an eventful morning and it's not even 9. I got up at 6 o'clock this morning and I had a full intention of going hiking towards the Swiss-Italian border but then I checked the weather and they were promising rain and I had another place in mind as well which is the one I ended up choosing because I checked the weather for that place and although it's going to be very cold and the weather is also going to be cloudy but rather than rain it'll come down as snow and it's been a while since I've been up in the mountains so I'm really excited I am on my way to Ebenalp the forecast shows that it should be kind of freezing temperatures at that height until about noon and then maybe around 2 p.m. it might start snowing but I'm hoping that the sunny weather that we have outside now lasts me at least a couple hours towards the beginning of my hike because there should be some amazing views in store so let's go check it out Okay, so I have now made it to Ebenalp and so far it's not snowing or raining so I'm happy I will take that as a win. Now I just need to find the correct hiking trail and <laughs> I'm a bit nervous because the guy was asking me when I only bought the ticket up here and not down he was like do you have proper hiking shoes and I was like of course of course I do. So let's see what is in store for me to get actually down from here. But I'm going to try to beat these super dark clouds to get some beautiful views before I have to worry about getting down from here. All right, so, so far not a good start. I actually started going the wrong direction because I didn't find any signs for which way to go. But luckily, when I went up there to that house, I found the signs and they pointed downhill, which should have been my first clue. I wasn't supposed to go uphill anywhere because I came up with the train, but that's life. So now I think I will be on the right course. <sighs> 10 minutes of potential sunshine wasted, but okay, not wasted. With views like this, nothing is ever a waste, so let's go. So there went my way down. <laughs> so now all we have left to go downhill are me in my boots, but we can do this, guys. We can do this. There's a bit of snow here and my shoes aren't the greatest for traction in snow especially like this half melted stuff going on here but i'm from finland so a little snow never scared me but i will have to start paying attention to this rocky road so i will let you go and i will catch up with you when i get to my next checkpoint
Okay guys, I have made it to my first stop, which you can see right there behind me. It's one that I've been wanting to visit for a long time in Switzerland. I think that it's just the coolest thing, a restaurant uh, being built on the side of a mountain with views like that. So now my plan is to stop there, hopefully have some lunch, at least a coffee, and then I will continue my way back down to the valley. <laughs> okay, so I just stopped for a coffee. I think I could have taken pictures of that house beside the cliff all day long. It was so pretty. The sun even came out, so I got more than I could have even hoped for today because the weather really wasn't looking great. It's around 11 o'clock right now, and it's about a two, two and a half hour hike, according to the signs, to where I'm going. My plan is to stop by a lake on the way. Hopefully I can get there. I'm not exactly sure if all of the hiking paths are open and hopefully I don't take another detour like I did earlier. I need to follow the signs. But that's the plan. I'm still trying to outrun these clouds that seem to be coming from that direction. I'm hoping that the sunny weather holds out for at least until I get to the lake because I think the lake would be beautiful with some sunny weather. If not, then I will be thankful for the sun that I got up until this point because yeah, that wasn't a guarantee either. And actually I'm super happy. Okay, hold on, let me, I need to check the signs. Why don't I see? Okay, hold on, I need to get out my map. Okay, so I should definitely continue going down. So it seems I need to go down this way where there is no signs pointing to. I'll go with it. There's a hiker coming. Oop. <laughs> There's a hiker coming my way. Maybe I'll ask him. Almost dropped you guys. Grüezi. Is das in die Richtung die Seealpse? Genau. Okay, gut. <laughs> Dankeschön. Ah, uh, from Finland. Ah, Finland. Yeah. Ja, circa eine Stunde. Ja, perfekt. Danke vielmals. Okay, super nice guy told me this is the right way. I have no idea why there's not a sign this way. Um, he asked me where I was from and I told him Finland. Uh, yeah, my German always gives me away. Um, not necessarily where I'm from. I think I have an American accent actually when I speak German, but what I was saying earlier was that I'm really grateful that I came on this day. One, because the weather was going to be very iffy and it's still going to be very iffy, I'm sure. So it means that not everybody was going to be up here. And if I can take a little bit less tourists or a little bit less um, locals visiting these places, I'll take it because these places can usually get quite crowded. And then the second reason was when I checked the website, that restaurant that I just stopped by that was built into the side of the road. Yes, I could have seen that on any day, but today was actually the first day that it was open for this summer season. So that was great. I stopped there for some coffee and uh, keep Philly like um, a croissant. And then now if I make it to the lake, there should be another restaurant there. I don't know if that one's open, but if it is, I might stop there for some proper lunch because so far I've had just some breakfast and now the coffee and the croissant. Okay, there's a clear sign here that this is now a mountain trail, so I will need to put my camera away. I think I'll try to strap it to my backpack to see, but because I didn't bring the protective casing for my GoPro, and I also don't want to hurt myself, I think it's better that I have both hands free and I can really pay attention to what's coming up ahead. So I will switch things up and continue making my way down. Just 
stopped to change into my raincoat because it started pouring down rain and while I was changing it stopped so but I'm gonna keep it on because I think that that will be the course of the rest of the day if I look up towards the sky no more sun I actually really like where I am now look at those trees behind me I just got some really cool pictures nice stop for a change of clothes yeah I guess nothing else but to keep on going I think I'll be at the lake shortly um, let's see I've made it to the lake it's right behind me and the only word that I can use to describe this hike so far is magical um, magical by the way is also a word I cannot use to describe my hair right now it's not good but I'm gonna go and do kind of the walk around the lake and then there's a restaurant that's open so I think I will try to catch some lunch there and then it's just a short maybe 30 minute walk back down to the train station okay so I just realized that the lake behind me is actually the lake from the logo on the Appenzeller beer so I can pop you up a comparison um, it's uncanny when you see it I realized it when I was sitting at the restaurant eating my lunch I was like huh that looks really familiar and I was drinking one of the beers right as I realized it and now I feel a bit silly that I never realized that was the lake but anyway it's still quite persistently cloudy and now it should be quite a quick trek back to the train station where I started it's a bit chilly at the moment um, I don't know whether I should put on some more clothes for sure I will probably at least close my jacket but I am so glad that I came on this hike today <laughs> guys I just found um, an ice cream dispenser check it out <laughs> and I am so pumped it only takes coins and I don't have any I have some cash but I only have paper bills so that's not gonna help me I know it's raining and I know it's a bit cold but I would have totally gotten an ice cream if I had the coins but just a tip for any people who come make sure to have some coins on hand to get yourself an ice cream I would be even more bummed if the weather was better but I, I'm always down for ice cream so oh well and that's actually my tip for you guys for today when you're hiking in Switzerland or when you're doing anything in Switzerland make sure to always have cash on hand Switzerland is getting better at accepting cards in different places but there's still plenty of times where I found myself in a situation where they only take cash so that was a good reminder to always have cash on hand <laughs> I have made it back to the train station and I just wanted to end the vlog for today with showing you exactly the route I took. I think this is a really easy hike because you can customize it however you want. You can go up with the gondola and come down and just do like a short walk down to the restaurant that I found that's kind of on the side of the cliff or you can hike all the way up and all the way back down or one or the other. What I did today was I went up with the gondola and then I hiked down. On the way down there was that beautiful lake. I stopped there for lunch and then just finished the hike, which was I think maybe 30 minutes to get back down to the train station from the lake. Let me pull out my map and show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so in case you want to do this yourself, you would go to take a train and go to Wasserrauen. There's the train station and immediately from the train station there's that gondola that would take you then all the way up to Ebenalp where I started the hike. It's 1.6 kilometers above sea level so it's nice and high. There was still snow up there today but nothing crazy. Uh, from there there's a quick hiking path down to the restaurant which was here. That was on the side of that mountain. I think it took me maybe 15 minutes to walk it was super fast not super steep and then what I did is you could either go back up and then take the gondola back down if you'd like but what I did was I then hiked down to this lake over here that's where I stopped for lunch and then I just finished my hike by coming back down to the train station uh, I think the hike took me maybe two hours it, 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 the guy who I ran into when I was wondering which way to go from here told me it would be about an hour to get to the lake and it took me about 40 minutes and I would say it took me maybe 15 minutes then to walk back down here uh, so yeah overall I think probably maximum two hours of moving time 
than whatever you take to stop for, I don't know, snacks or lunch or just sightseeing, then that's on top of that. But really great hike, fully customizable. You can see there's all of these different routes that you can take. So I highly recommend to keep this on your list of places to go if you're ever in Switzerland and want to see some beautiful views. Even today when the weather was a bit iffy, I don't regret it. I think the weather made it so that it wasn't super, super crowded. There was plenty of space and tables at both the restaurant where I stopped for my coffee in the morning and then where I stopped for lunch. Uh, it started raining maybe halfway through my hike back down from the restaurant on the side of the cliff, but it didn't matter. I was prepared with a raincoat, so the only thing that got a little bit wet was my hair. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the channel next time. Bye, guys.